are very welcome to today's practice. This is a midday flow that you can practice at any time throughout the day or when you would like to just move your body, get the energy flowing and feel a little bit more supple. So we will start in a wide legged child's pose. We won't stay here too long. Take the big toes to touch and bring the sit bones back down towards the heels. Then extending the arms out in front of the palm of the hands and on the mat, the forearms and then slowly the forehead. Just gently bring yourself closer to the mat as you exhale and lower here. Filling up the back of the body with deep inhales and exhales. Just allow yourself to come into your practice really gently. Slow and controlled, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. See if you can take the hands away from the body just a little bit more with each exhale. We want to lengthen out the spine here. Drop the shoulders away from the ears, let go of any tension. Just gently warming up the hips, the insides of the thighs, opening the waist. Exhale, release, let go. And when you're ready, just really, really gently here, transitioning into puppy pose. Take the hands underneath the shoulders. You're coming into tabletop to begin. And then keeping the sit bones in line with the knees, come back down onto the forearms and keep the sit bones facing up towards the ceiling. Now from here, you're extending out the arms once more and you're taking the forehead to the mat, maybe the chin, or if you live in a really open body and you want a really nice chest opener, come into the chin and the chest. Holding here for three breaths. Just seeing if you can take your armpits a little bit closer to the mat. Draw your belly button back to the back of the body. Seeing if you can exhale to sink a little bit deeper. And when you're ready, slowly, slowly, just bringing the sit bones back towards the heels. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders once again, coming back into tabletop. And from here, we'll come back down onto the forearms and we'll take the legs out wide. You're coming into Sphinx pose. So we have a slight natural curve in our lower back here. We're gently pushing the pelvis onto the mat and the front of the feet onto the mat. Shoulders are directly over the elbows and the forearms and the fingers are parallel to the front edge of the mat. The gaze is forward here and we're just gently pushing the pelvis and the forearms into the mat and feeling that really slight back bend here. Now we'll exhale, gaze over the right shoulder. And as always, at the beginning of a practice, you'll find that you just really don't have that much of a twist. That's absolutely fine. We're just gently warming up here. Coming back to center, taking it through on the opposite side and gazing over that left shoulder. Feeling that really nice sense of length up the right side, particularly if you're doing this during the day, if you've been sitting down or at a desk. Just taking any tension away there. Coming back to center, we'll slowly take the hands on either side of the chest, coming into our first back bend of the practice. So roll the shoulders back and have the elbows facing in towards each other. Now pushing the pelvis gently into the mat, coming up for low cobra, keep a forward gaze. Maybe lifting the hands, just let you know the bend of front and the lower back. I'm not forcing up through the hands here. Again, gently pushing that pelvis in, shoulders roll back, elbows come to touch, holding here. And exhale, coming back down to the mat. Now taking the hands, the side of the body, maybe facing up towards the ceiling or interlacing the 10 fingers and create that clasped fist with your hand. Rolling back the shoulders once more. Keep the thighs, the knees and the feet in line. You can have them coming together or a slight gap between. It doesn't really matter, it's, it's all the same. Now pointing the feet on an inhale, gently pushing up once again. See if you can take your hands away from the body, lifting the knees, lifting the feet and the thighs. Gently pushing the pelvis in once more and shining the collarbones forward. We'll stay here for three breaths. Holding for one. Holding for 
two. And holding for three, exhale. Take the hands back down to the mat, tucking the toes. We'll gently bring the sit bones back towards the heels and then we'll bring them up towards the ceiling for our first downward facing dog. Now here, take a generous bend in the knees. First downward dog got the practice is always really, really restorative. So generous bend in the knees, taking the shoulders away from the ears, just have the hands facing the front edge of the mat. Now we try to take the heels closer towards the mat here, but we're not in any rush. So if you need to pedal out the feet, pedal out the feet. The gaze is between the ankles, the shins, the thighs, and eventually the gaze comes up to the belly button. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. You might find your subconsciously just holding a little bit of tension in them. Just allow yourself to be a little bit more soft. Chest comes in towards the thighs and just begin to find stillness if you haven't already. Breathing in and out of the nose. We'll move really, really gently here. On your next inhale, sweep up the right leg and just pointing the right foot towards the mat. See if you can take your chest towards your left thigh. Now bending the right knee, we'll slowly ripple it through and we'll land that right foot in between the hands. Drop the back leg and untuck the toe with a flat back and a forward gaze. Inhale, sweep the arms up and exhale, open out towards the side. So you're coming the opposite direction. We have our right leg in front, our right arm extended and our left arm behind. Bending deep into that right knee. Again, just making sure it's over the ankle. So if you do need to readjust, which I definitely do, feel free to readjust. Just make sure the knee is over the ankle and you're opening out the inside of the hip. You should feel a really nice stretch on the outside of the right thigh. Maybe take your gaze over that left hand, the left index finger, and we're holding here for three, for two, for one. Inhale, sweep the arms in line with the ears, bend a little bit deeper into that right leg, and this time take the right arm behind the left arm in front, bending deep into that right leg once again, and just feeling the nice twist now. So we have the left arm in front, the right arm behind, and we're gazing here. If you want to challenge your balance early on in the practice, just mount that big toe into the mat and take a gaze over the left index finger, holding for three. For two, for one, inhale, sweep the arms up, requires a little bit of balance, particularly early. Exhale, bring the right foot, we'll tuck the left toe, we'll lift the left knee, hands on the mat, Le right foot comes back to meet the left, and we'll exhale, come back into downward facing dog. If you feel that you still need to bend the knees, work away. As always, this is your practice, and I'm just a guide. On an inhale, sweep up the left leg, pointing the foot, take the chest towards the thigh. Now bend the knee and rippling through, take the knee into the chest and gently land the left foot in between the hands. Drop the right leg, untuck the toe, flat back forward gaze. Maybe you're on the fingertips, maybe you're on the palm of the hands, wherever you feel is more length in the spine. Now making sure that that left knee is over the left ankle, we're going to take an inhale and sweep the arms up in line with the ears. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper into that left leg and holding here. We'll take the right arm behind us this time and we'll take the left arm in front, opening out the chest towards the opposite side. Now keep the arms in line with each other so that you're creating an extension, twisting from the torso, maybe gaze over that right index finger, really mounting the left toe into the mat just to keep it stable. Pushing the front of the right foot into the mat also. Holding here, in and out of the nose. And as you inhale, sweep the arms up in line with the ears. And then exhale, coming through on the opposite side once again. So we're twisting over the left thigh this time. Opening out the chest, and if you wish, gaze back at that right index finger. Requires a little bit of balance. Hold for three. For two, for one. Inhale, sweep the arms in line with the ears. Exhale, frame the left foot, tuck the right toe, lift the right knee, take the left leg back and exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. So 
when we're doing our facing dog, we have options. Because we're, this is a shorter practice, if you'd like to intensify it a little bit earlier on, I can give you cues. And then if you'd like to take it a little bit more of a start of eat, I can also give you cues. So from here, inhaling once again, we'll sweep up the right leg, the chest comes towards the thigh. Bending the knee, rippling it through, pushing the knee up to the chest. Exhale, take that right foot in between the hands. Now the option here is to drop the left leg and untuck the toe. Or if you'd like to keep the left leg lifted, keep the left leg lifted. The gaze is forward here with the flat back. Take an inhale and sweep the arms in line with the ears, sinking deep into that right knee, making sure it's over the ankle and grinding down to the ball of the left knee. Now from here, opening out the chest. On an inhale, we'll bring the elbows into touch and we'll allow the gaze to slightly lift as the palms face away. Elbows in line with each other and a really slight back bend. Now on an inhale, we'll sweep the arms in line with the ears and as we exhale, we'll open it out the chest. Repeating three more times. Inhale, sweeps you up, lifting up that left knee. Exhale, open out the chest. Inhale, sweeps you up. Exhale, open out the chest. Inhale, sweeps you up. Exhale, open out the chest. Frame the right foot. Take the right foot back to meet the left and exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Three breaths between each side. When you're ready, on an inhale, we'll sweep up the left leg, bending the knee, rippling it through as we take it towards the chest. Exhale, gently landing it between the hands. Option to keep that back leg lifted or dropping the knee and untucking the toe. Flat back, forward gaze, hands are framing the left foot. On an inhale, we sweep the arms in line with the ears and we exhale, we take the knee over the ankle, grinding through the right heel. As you inhale, lengthen up through the spine and as you exhale, we'll open out the chest. Slight back bend with a forward gaze. Inhale, sweeps you up. Exhale, opening out the chest, elbows drawing together. Inhale, sweep you up. Exhale, open out the chest. Inhale, sweeps you up. And exhale, opens out the chest. Ooh, if you have a wobble, as always, embrace it, work with it. We'll slowly exhale the left foot, taking it back to meet the right. Staying here in our high plank, pushing up through the palm of the hands and doming the top of the back. Taking three breaths here in and out of the nose, building up a little bit of internal heat. And as you exhale, just gently drop the knees to the mat, untuck the toes, bending the elbows and keeping them aligned with the body. Slowly exhale, bringing the chin, then the chest down to the mat. Slow and controlled, we'll gently sweep ourselves up. Hands either side of the chest, pelvis pushes in, low cobra, and exhale brings you back to the mat. Coming into our bow pose to strengthen our lower back, take the left foot in towards you, followed by the right in towards the sit bones. And then from here, reaching back, take hold of the ankle, maybe the front of the foot, just depends on what type of body that you live in. Either way, we want to keep the knees and the feet and the hips in line. We want to keep the shoulders and the collarbones in line with the front edge of the mat. And again, gently pushing that pelvis in towards the ground. On an inhale, just seeing how it feels to lift up the collarbones, to bring the shoulders back towards each other and really push the hands, the feet into the hands, but we're not lifting the knees just yet. Just seeing how this feels, take an inhale. And as you exhale, gently lower yourself all the way to the mat. Repeating here, on an inhale, pelvis pushes in, knees are in, feet go into the hands in a straight line. Maybe see if you can lift the feet up a little bit more. And then as you exhale, slowly coming down to the mat. From here, roll the shoulders back, push the pelvis in, slowly lifting the chest, pushing the feet into the hands, maybe lifting the knees, 
kicking and drawing in towards each other with holes here for three, for two, for one. Exhale, slowly coming down to the mat. Gently letting go of the feet. Take the hands either side of the chest, tuck the toes. Take the sit bones back towards the heels. Holding here for two breaths, just to neutralize the spine after our back bend. Staying here a little bit longer if you need to. And when you are ready, we'll slowly take the sit bones up towards the ceiling and back into our downward facing dog. Taking the hands, the feet up towards the hands and finding yourselves in a forward fold here. In our forward fold, just take that generous bend in the knees. Again, we're just looking to give some release to the lower back here, particularly after doing a back bend so early on in the practice. So really bend into the knees as much as you need to and allow the chest to come as though it's going to rest on top of the thighs. The palm of the hands could be on the mat or maybe the fingertips are just lightly grazing the mat. You'll know exactly what you need in this pose. You may find it nice to take hold of the opposite elbows and just gently rock left to right. Maybe nodding the head yes, shaking it no. Finding a little bit of stillness, we'll ripple ourselves up to Tadasana. Now the hands come up, the shins, the knees, the thighs, the head, the neck and the chest is last to lift. Roll back the shoulders here and the palm of the hands are facing away from you and you're rooting up through the from the root of the feet to the crown of the head. Length in the spine here. We will come into a balancing pose, which is particularly good to practice throughout the day as it helps us to focus our attention, particularly if we have a distracted or a busy mind that day, and um, just allows us to come into center a little bit more. So starting in your Tadasta Mountain Pose, the feet are about a fist, maybe two fists apart, gently pushing the pelvis to the front of the mat, elongating the spine and again just taking the shoulders away from the ears and drawing the collarbones forward. Really rooting into the big left toe, become a little bit lighter on the right foot. Now micro bend in the left knee to keep the, knee, the knee safe, just make sure it make, makes you not hyperextend the knee. Taking the right foot, placing the sole either on the left ankle, maybe on the left shin, never on the knee. So if you're going from the shin up further, you're going onto the inside of the left thigh. And you're basically aiming to get the right knee to the back of the mat so it's in line with the, with the hips, okay? Now maybe you stay here. If you would like to take the full variation, taking the sole of the right foot, just onto the crease of the left thigh and hip, coming into half lotus. Now, depending on where you're at, you can take any of those options, but keep that micro bend in the left knee. Keep opening out the right hip and really rooting into that big left toe. If you have a little bit of a wobble, acknowledge it, work from there and see where you're at. Hands come into heart center in the middle of the chest, rooting up through the spine, make yourself really tall here and gazing forward. Now you can stay here or if you'd like, inhale, sweep the arms in line with the ears, palms facing towards each other or maybe the palms come together in prayer. And we're holding here for five breaths in and out of the nose. Make sure whatever is in front of you isn't moving, only pelvis. And as you exhale, take the hands into heart center. Take the knee in line with the hip and exhale, just bring that foot back down to the mat. Okay, shake out the legs. So you can definitely feel that right leg switch on and as well from the left as we've been reading it down. So coming onto the opposite side, starting with the feet about a feet, maybe two fists apart. Light this time on the left foot as you ground into the right. Now taking the sole of the left foot onto the outside of the ankle, 
maybe the shin, maybe the thigh, or maybe you're taking it into half lotus and you're taking the outside of the left foot onto the crease between the thigh and the hip. Now opening out that left knee towards the back of the mat, as always one side is a little bit more stable than the other. Rooting up through the spine, micro bend in that right knee, pushing into that big right toe. The hands come together in heart center, opening out the chest and holding here for five breaths with the option of taking an inhale, the arms reach in line with the ears, or maybe they come together in prayer, finding your drishti, your focus in front, breathing in and out of the nose, slow and steady. Take the hands into center, take the knee into center, exhale, letting go of the left foot, coming back into Tadasana. Always good to shake out the legs before we begin to move again. So, so coming into Tadasana Mountain Pose once again, take the right knee in line with the hip and interlacing the 10 fingers, draw that knee in towards the chest. Now you're rooting up through the spine once again, so the length here in the spine. Micro bend in that left knee just to keep it safe and lift the knee in towards you. Finding something in focus in, in front of you to focus on, coming into your balance. And we'll take the hands together in prayer in the chest. Now point that right foot, root up through the spine and root up through that big left toe. Elbows are an extension of each other. As we exhale, we'll take the right foot to the back of the mat. Now tipping from the hip here, keeping the spine as long and straight as we possibly can, allowing the chest to come in the direction of the mat, extending the right leg out long, keeping it flush with the spine. Hands stay into the chest in prayer, gazing down, micro bend in that left leg and holding here for three, for two, for one. As we inhale, we'll slowly bring ourselves back to center. Take the right knee in line once again with the right hip. Root up through that left leg. And exhale, take the right foot down to the mat. We'll repeat on the opposite side and then we'll add in a little bit more the next time, okay? So rooting into the right foot this time, taking the left knee in line with the hip. Interlace the 10 fingers on top of the shin bone, rooting up through the big right toe, taking the knee in towards the chest, pointing the left foot. And from here, taking the hands into heart center, spine is long, taking the left foot back behind you and extending it away from the body. Now the micro bend is in the right leg this time, keeping the left, le left leg lifted. Pointing the foot, chest comes in the direction of the mat. Seeing if you can lengthen up through the spine as you exhale and lift up that left leg just a little bit more, holding here for three, for two, for one. When you're ready, slow and steady, taking the knee back in the direction of the hip. Point the left foot, root up through the spine. Exhale, brings you back to center. Okay, shake out the legs. We'll do it again one more time, but we'll add on a little bit extra, okay? So, rooting into the right, the left foot, light on the right, take the right foot in towards the chest, interlacing the 10 fingers on top of the shin bones to make yourself really nice and straight here. Now taking that right foot, We'll take it to the back of the mat. Hands come together in prayer to begin. Exhale, extending the right leg behind you. Tipping from the hip. Taking the chest in the direction of the mat. With each exhale, see if you can sink a little bit deeper and lift up the right leg a little bit more towards the ceiling. Now your gaze is down at the mat, something that's not moving, find your focus, lift up a little bit more, 
And when you're ready, take the arms in line with the body coming into warrior three. Roll back the shoulders. Take an inhale and sweep the arms in line with the ears. Take the knee whoop, back in line with the hip. Hold it here. And we'll exhale, bring it back down to the mat. Really simple. Again, we'll take it on the opposite side. On the left side this time, take the left knee in towards the chest, interlacing the 10 fingers on top of the shin bone, rooting up through that big right toe and keeping the spine really nice and straight and strong. Roll back the shoulders, the chest is forward, point that left foot. Now take the hands together in prayer and just finding that focus in front of you, a little micro bend in the right leg to keep the knee safe. We'll exhale. Extending the left leg back behind us, pointing the left foot. Now, micro bend in that right knee and extend out the left leg. You're facing the foot away from the body. You're exhaling, taking the chest towards the mat. And really just gradually coming down with your breath, seeing if you can straighten out that left leg and bring it up towards the ceiling a little bit more as your chest comes towards the mat. Now take the arms in line with the body for warrior three, knowing that whoop, you can stay with the hands in front of the chest if that gives you a little bit more balance. I think it would definitely serve me a little bit better. And from here, we'll slowly inhale, taking the knee in line with the hips. Take the arms in line with the ears. Point that left foot. Exhale, hands come to side. Exhale, the leg comes back to the mat. And we'll shake out the legs here. Coming back to our forward fold mat. So on an inhale, just allowing the hands to reach up. Coming together in prayer, we'll exhale and fold forward, hinge, hinging from the hips here. Now spine is lengthened, the arms are long, the head is heavy. Just take a halfway lift with a flat back and a forward gaze to prepare in Arla Udanasana. Exhale, fold you forward. Now take the left foot back, take the right foot back, drop the knees and tuck the toes, and we'll take the legs out in front, and we're coming into a very simple twist to finish our practice. Take the left leg and bring it in towards you, bringing it over the right leg and taking the right leg onto the outside of the left hip. Now keep the left sole flat on the mat, Keep the left hand behind the left hip and push up through the fingers just to add length in the spine. Hooking the right knee with the crook of the right elbow to twist or maybe extending out the right arm. Take me to the outside of the thigh with the palm facing away from you. Right knee is on the mat, lengthen here. Exhale, twist and gaze over that left shoulder. So compared to our Sphinx pose earlier on in the practice, you may find that you have a little bit more of a twist here. The body is a little bit more pliable now that we've practiced. A little bit loose, a little bit more warmed up. As you exhale, take the gaze back to center. Now take the arm away, but take the left hand this time and bring it onto the outside of the left hip. Both hands are on the outside of the left hip and we're just gently going to swivel our way all the way around, full circle, and coming through on the opposite side. If that made absolutely no sense, just taking it on the opposite side, it's all the same way. Just make sure that the right foot is on the outside of the left hip, and that the left foot is on the outside of the right hip. Now strong in that right foot, and keep it stable on the mat. Right hand behind you, pushing up to add length in the spine, taking the knee with the crook of the elbow, or maybe extending the arm long, bending the elbow to the outside of the knee, and exhale, twist to gaze over that right side. Really nice, juicy twist, just to finish off the practice. As you exhale, come back to center, Uncross the legs, just coming into an easy seat. 
root up through the sit bones one last time, lengthen the spine, take an inhale and sweep the arms up, allow the gaze to come up, exhale, take the hands together in heart centre, bowing the chin to the chest and thanking the ancient tradition of yoga and all that our practice brings for us. Closing with Namaste. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed and you have a little bit more concentration now, a little bit more fluidity in the body, particularly if you practice throughout the day. Thank you very much.